what's up my name is Kara Ray and welcome back to my channel so today for you guys I have a makeup review slash demo for you guys Urban Decay kindly sent me the all nighter liquid foundation and I'm really excited to try this out for you guys here on my channel so if you're interested to see how this applies my thoughts and how long it actually wears then keep on watching before I continue and jump into this review slash demo if you are not already a subscriber please make sure you click the subscribe button before you leave this video and without further ado let's get started so the urban decay all-nighter front liquid foundation it claims to be a full coverage long wear matte finish waterproof and oil free foundation when I was picking out foundations a while ago, I also did a first impression slash review of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And I was in the store deciding between this one and this one. I went with this one just because I am more of a natural finish kind of girl and this one was very light wear. Um, it wasn't as full coverage and I really like that, but I really, really, really want to try this one as well. Now, just because this is a sponsored video and this product was sent to me for free, keep in mind that my opinion on this product is 100% my own. I am not going to lie to you guys at all in this review slash demo. So, yeah, just had to get that out there. Um, I do have this in the color 7.75 which I was not in the store so I couldn't play around with this foundation so I think this might be a little bit on the darker side. It probably would match my skin tone more in the summer than it does now since I'm losing my tan but we're gonna try to make this work with what we have. So like I said this is a full coverage matte finish waterproof foundation and it's supposed to last all night. It's called all nighter because I think it's supposed to be more for like nightwear, um, night out that kind of makeup look but we're gonna wear it throughout the day to see how long it truly lasts um yes yeah. so about my skin I am probably combination since we're into the winter months I'm starting to be a little bit more dry in the summer I'm a little bit more oily so this will be interesting since this is a matte finish on how this is actually going to work out for my skin um, the packaging is super sleek it's really nice nothing too fancy about it and then it does have your pump applicator so this is a genuine first impression slash review of this product I have not used this at all I just pulled it out of the packaging and this is my first time applying it so let's go ahead and see how this works before I continue I did want to just let you guys know that this foundation does retail for $40 and there is a wide range of shades. It looks like there's close to 20 shades for you to choose from. So if you are interested in purchasing this, it can be found at any beauty retailer, Ulta, Sephora, Urban Decay, all of those have this. So yeah, make sure you check them out if you are interested in purchasing. Um, and for my primer, I am going to use the Hangover Primer by Too Faced just because this is supposed to be a matte finish and my skin is a little on the dry side already so hopefully this will help in that I'm just going to apply this on my face this is a kind of a moisturizing um, primer which is why I lean toward this one especially when I'm using matte finished foundations I find that it really helps um, with the application and it also my skin isn't dry so then the makeup doesn't cling to like the super dry areas. I'm going to be applying this with my beauty blender, excuse my beauty blender because it is a little dirty, um, but that's what I'm going to use to apply this and if you see me looking down it's because I have a mirror so I apologize for that. To start out I'm just going to take a couple of pumps onto the back of my beauty blender. And right away, this foundation, it it's a little bit more liquidy than I was expecting, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so we shall see. And actually, the color is a little lighter than I was expecting too, so we'll also see about that. But I'm going to just begin blending this out. So 
So I went ahead and I applied the foundation. I did blend it out as well as you could, I want to say. And I'm actually really surprised. A couple things I was really surprised with was A, the color. I thought the color was going to be way too dark for me. But it actually is a little lighter than I am right now. So this will be a perfect winter color for me. And I'm super excited about that because I thought I was only going to be able to use it during the summer months. I did two pumps of the foundation. And I found that that was more than enough for my foundation application a little bit of this does go a long way i would say when you are applying it you want to work in sections because it is a matte finish it does dry kind of quickly and i did have a little bit of problems blending it out on the spots that i applied last when i when they say it's a matte finish it's definitely matte my skin is super super matte like you can't tell that i have any type of oil building on my face at least yet um, and then coverage wise, I would say this is full coverage. It definitely can be built upon because it's a matte finish. So you can definitely layer this up if you want. For me, this is enough coverage. So the two pumps was more than enough coverage for me. I wouldn't go any heavier on this, but it does cover up my freckles very well. And I want to talk about the finish. So when I think of a full coverage foundation, I think of a heavy kind of like cakey finish when i compare my full coverage foundations i often compare them to the kat von d lock it tattoo foundation this was my very first full coverage foundation and i bought this like a few years ago and as you can see i still have quite a bit left this was super heavy super drying super cakey so i'm comparing this to this almost in a sense because they're both full coverage claiming foundations and this one I definitely like like a bazillion times more because it is a matte finish and it has dried to a matte finish but it's also a very I don't want to say I don't know it's not a natural finish but it almost is it kind of really reminds me a lot of the finish to the naked skin by Urban Decay it's super natural I feel like this doesn't look like a caked uh, makeup face which is what I cannot see Stand. I feel like you could wear this during the day and you would be fine like you wouldn't have to worry about like am I wearing too much makeup I feel like it's a really good coverage it's, it feels very nice it feels almost satiny smooth to the skin or to the touch I'd say and I'm really excited about it so let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I will be right back alright guys so I am back for today I'm just I just threw on a little bit of contour bronzer blush and highlight I did not conceal or anything like that I want to see how well this foundation truly holds up throughout the day so I didn't do too much to my face I haven't set it with any spray or powder because I want to see how well the foundation actually does what it claims to do so the time is now 2 30 it's a little bit late in the day but I'm going to go with it um, the time is 2.30. I'm going to check back in a few hours just to see how the makeup is holding up throughout the day. And yeah, so I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back. It is now 7 o'clock in the evening. So I've been wearing this makeup for probably around 5, going on 6 hours now. And I just wanted to check back in and let you guys know how it's been holding up. I ran a few errands, so... I was out and about in a, a little bit and I still am really impressed with the way this foundation has held up throughout the day. There is a little bit of shine that's peeking through mainly in my t-zone area which would be my cheeks a little bit on my forehead but really that's about it and that area usually gets oily anyway that's where my pores are the largest. The only other place that I noticed some creasing or the makeup shifting a little bit would be my smile lines and that's with any foundation but other than that I will say that this makeup has held up really nicely it still feels really good to the touch my face still feels really nice and smooth so I don't know I'm really enjoying this this foundation I'm really surprised like I said it's supposed to be full coverage which yes it is it's supposed to be long wearing which I feel like it is as well and it's supposed to be matte and I feel like it's doing a great job especially for the fact that I didn't use any powders or setting sprays with this foundation it's doing a really good job of holding up throughout the day 
So if you liked this video and you want to see more makeup reviews slash demos, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. If you've tried this foundation before, do you like it? Do you not like it? Also, open up my description box because I will have a link to my review of my other Urban Decay, the Naked Skin Foundation. That will be down there as well. So if you guys want to check that one out, then you have that option to do that as well. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!